a tenth of the estimated 200 million women have been genitally mutilated in the world and in Nigeria. How it is on mobile only additionally. And this special report reviews the prevalence of female genital mutilation in Oyo State. So I was mutilated um, when I was less than a year old. I was killed at all. And that was it. I was not given any injection to not feel pain. I was not given anything. I started bleeding. It means if I'm a mom, I'm you. Nigeria, with a population of over 200 million people, has the highest absolute number of female genital mutilation, FGM, worldwide. Accounting for about one tenth of the estimated 200 million mutilated women in the world. Female genital mutilation comprises all procedures that involve altering or injuring the female genitalia for non medical reasons and is recognized internationally as a violation of the human rights of girls and women. The United Nations International Children Emergency Fund, UNICEF, in December 2018, revealed that 6 out of 10 women between ages 15 and 49 in Oyo State are victims of genital mutilation, making Oyo State the fifth highest in Nigeria, typically carried out by a traditional circumciser using a blade. FGM is conducted from days after birth to puberty and beyond. I was 13 at that time and it was in our family house and by my grandmothers and my the grandmothers, yeah. Costly Aderi Bigbe narrates the painful ordeal she went through as a survivor of FGM. Being a medical doctor has opened her eyes to the damage the practice has caused her and made her an advocate for the eradication of the practice. Having witnessed some of the complications firsthand as a medical student, we Together with some of my colleagues, we started a strong campaign against the practice. The report of the investigation undertaken by Value Reorientation for Community Enhancement, VAS, revealed that FGM is still prevalent in areas like Ibadan Northeast, Ibadan North, Akinyele, and Afijio local government areas of the state. Mr. and Mrs. Oyetunde, residents of Shasha community in Akinyele local government area, share their perception of the practice. It's important to mutilate women because there is a disease that eats up the private part of the child and gives them sleepless nights. If they are not mutilated, it can cause a lot of harm to the girl child. I mutilated all my three daughters and granddaughters, as well as other female children in the community. On whether they knew that the practice had been banned by the federal government, Mr. Oyetunde had this to say. The government doesn't know the importance of the practice. That's why they banned it. There are other traditional practices which are forbidden in our land and can cause harm if violated. The State Director, National Orientation Agency, or your State Directorate, Mrs. Dolakpo Dusumu, explains why FGM is still prevalent in Oyo State despite several advocacies being done. Oyo State is a very cultural state. And you know, when you try to define culture, it will mean the way of life of a people. What do they believe? Their norms, their practice, their way of life, in which female genital mutilation is one of them. Speaking on the different classification of FGM, a gynecologist, Dr. Michael Agbaje, described uh, the danger involved one of the in the practice, noting that it should be stopped. Uh, the complications of female genital mutilation can be immediate or delayed. That's the long-term complications. Um, is that you have women who become frigid uh, because of the experience. Uh, a lot of times you could have um, the girls having this procedure done when they are, they are allow me to put it wise, they're a bit older so they can relieve um, the procedure that was carried out on them. So in some patients, yes, you could have 
some of these complications, which is uh, what I can describe as post-traumatic stress disorder. She remembers that procedure. So each time she has a procedure that involves her genitalia, she relieves that trauma. With the campaign of the National Orientation Agency, the Oyo State Child Protection Network, and other advocacy groups against FGM, it is hoped that female genital mutilation will be stopped so that girls in the areas where the practice is still prevalent will no longer be subjected to the unwholesome ritual in Oyo State and everywhere in the world. Omobolanli Adeshui, IATV News.